how lovely she is, exquisite enchantress. If only I wasn't quite so dead. What do you want? I thought Madame rang. Oh, no, I didn't. The only thing I'd be ringing round here is a taxi. Oh, but will Madame be ringing soon? No. For should Madame ring, I, John Stix, would hurry to her side. Shall I get that? I know your game, mister. You're just waiting for the bubbles to disappear. You insult me, madam. My only desire is to make you happy. Then get me a Caesar salad and a bottle of gin. <sighs> madam treats me unkindly because she sees me only as Pluto's valet, a humble and contemptible lackey. Oh, tell someone who cares. Well, <laughs> Since Madame takes an interest, I'll tell you everything. I was once an important person. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I was once in local government. Oh, great. He's going to sing. Maestro, I'm dead, so I'm going to take it down the octave. When I was mayor of Parox Marto, I moved in high society. At each banquet, a seafood platter and a crescida just for me. Arterian, keen and active, I served my country and my queen. And though I may seem unattractive, I haven't always been this green. And if my heart was once more beating, from me you would not be retreating. What joy it would be if you shared your heart with me. I instigated many functions that were held throughout the shire. Like the senior's Christmas luncheon with the gay and death was that life now seems so hollow with no first lady by my side. And though you may find this hard to swallow, you would have made the perfect bride. I know you fear what I'm proposing because my ear is decomposing. What joy it would be if you shared your heart with me.